So, welcome to the first ride on my brand new 2020 RSV4 1100 factory. I'm seeing shimmers in this unresting dream. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is uh, the mighty Skeg Vegas. I've come for my uh, traditional um, breaking a new bike ride. Uh, today's the first ride of my uh, brand new 2020 RSV4 1100 factory. Um, I am <laughs> speechless. I'm, I was, probably felt I was a bit underwhelmed if you, it sounded like that on the collection video, but I couldn't be the opposite. It's just so. Um, overwhelming to be able to pick up a bike like this um, I just didn't know what to say but um, there she is I'll just give you a quick walk around I'm in absolute awe the bike's just phenomenal I knew as soon as I sat on it uh, as soon as I sat on it I knew I was going to buy it to be honest with you I didn't, to the point where I just didn't even bother test riding the old one I couldn't get a test ride and I was like I'm just wasting everybody's time because I'm going to buy that bike. It's just amazing. Uh, oh, man, I um, I just don't know what to say. I've got to run it in 8,500 RPM for the first 600 miles, which I've got to do in about two weeks because I've got a track day on it uh, on the 9th. But it's a weekend. It's gorgeous weather. So what else have I got to do with and run the bike in? Um, but even up to 8,500 RPM, oh, my God, it is absolutely ballistic. But it's so smooth. It just feels so smooth and so easy to ride and not intimidating at all. But you can just feel it under your under your bum when you twist your right hand. It, it, it's got uh, it's got rockets in there. But um, look, I'll, I'll I'll flip to some footage of me riding and uh, I'll talk you through the bike. It's not a review. Again, I keep saying that, but I'm not a reviewer. I'm not going to give you. Don't come here for stats and all that kind of stuff. It's got 214 brake horsepower. I think I think it's 199 kilograms wet whatever wet means i guess it means full of petrol um, but just the 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 stats i can give you is how much it's making me smile how much i love it and the noise it makes is just like thunder even with a standard canon which i think i'm probably just going to keep by the way because i'm hearing lots of stories horror stories actually about exhaust and uh, slip-ons causing problems for the engine but it's the weekend there isn't a cloud in the sky doesn't get much better than this, boys and girls. Uh, so I just got delivery of this. Uh, you'll have seen the collection video. Um, and this is my sort of traditional uh, first ride pilgrimage to the mighty Skeg Vegas. <laughs> Welcome to the mighty Skeg Vegas. Cue pointless music. I always come on this ride when I first get my bikes. Um, it's just a nice run out, get to the seaside. Um, uh, I don't know what to say really, I don't know how to start this video. Um, yeah, yeah, the bike's just amazing, it's just an absolute weapon. I'm, I'm obviously running the bike in, I'm gonna run this in properly because I plan on keeping this bike for some time now. Uh, so I can't go above eight and a half thousand RPM. Uh, and I'm gonna stick to that, but trust me when I tell you, 
even up to 8,500 RPM, the torque on this thing and the uh, uh, instant power in almost any gear is just phenomenal. Um, uh, that's, I mean, it's just, when I bought this bike, I remember when I, if you watch my test ride uh, video, if you look up here, um, as soon as I got on it, I just, it, it, some big smile from ear to ear on the bike. Um, it's just awesome. Somebody shouted out to me the other day that they, they wanted me to give some some uh, stats and all that shit. Uh, you know, I'm not a professional bike reviewer, that's why I didn't give stats. I mean, it's 214 brake horsepower, 199 kilograms wet. I mean, if that uh, floats your boat, uh, I don't know what the stats you want, really. It's fucking fast. Like, bonkers fast. The bike is so smooth to ride as well. That was, that was one of the main sort of things that stood out for me. Yeah, you know, you tell, it is a V4 and you can tell it's not a, a silky smooth inline four cylinder. But the throttle, the relationship with your right hand and the throttle is just so uh, intuitive. It makes the bike uh, not particularly intimidating to ride, which was the opposite of the Ducati. And the reason why I didn't really buy the Ducati is because I just didn't feel comfortable on it from the get-go. Whereas this I do, but you know, you can tell and from the test ride the, uh, that I did as well, the, the performance is easily as fast as the Ducati, without any question. Um, I, as I said before, the bike feels small, but it doesn't feel too small. It steers quick, but not too quick. Um, it's got everything that you want. I had cruise controls on the A1 earlier, just chugging away at 70. <laughs> wink wink and I just put the cruise control on you can take your right hand off the bar and just chill out a bit and although you know you're not going to buy a bike like this because it's got cruise control it's a nice to have if you can see at the mini I've got everything dialed up to the max I've got traction control on full ABS on full anti wheelie on full uh, and I'm still playing with the suspension mode but I'm in active road which I guess is automatic suspension uh, it feels super comfortable and plush. I haven't really played around with the suspension yet. I've literally just, this is the first ride, ah, hence the title of the video. Um, but I've got everything dialed up to the max because these come with um, Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa tires, which are extremely sort of sticky uh, road slash track tires. Um, and they need scrubbing in properly. So, um, I personally, and one of the reasons why I bought it, prefer the looks of it to the Ducati. That's not to say the Ducati's not a prettier bike, because it is, but I, I just personally like this the look of this mean matte paint, um, which I'm sure is going to be an absolute bastard to look after. Um, but whatever. Uh, the exhaust, so I said on the test ride video when I was having a run on it that I, I thought below four or five grand it was killing cylinders. It's not, I think that's Ducati that does that, I made a mistake there. This has got a uh, variable flap in the exhaust. You can hear now I'm at 4,000. You know, it's just quiet. Uh, whereas if I open it up a little bit, hear that? You know, that's the valve in the exhaust opening up. I've been considering whether to put an exhaust on this or not. Uh, I've, he I've heard, you know, Austin Racing, those kinds of exhausts sound amazing, but I've heard really bad things about them, about them affecting um, valve clearances in the engine, so I'm not sure what to do. I, I don't really want to map it, and I don't know what I want to do, but as it stands at the minute, I've not opened this up properly, but the exhaust um, on this, I mean, that's loud enough. Just hear that, I mean, it's super loud. So I think I might leave it. I mean, it's got a standard Akapovich can on it. Oh, amazing. Uh, so I'll probably just leave it like that. Uh, what else to tell you? I mean, you can piss about with the traction control. What I do like about the traction control, I don't know you can see, but here and here, there's like two little triggers, so you can change that on the fly. Uh, you can't change your suspension setting on the fly, but you can change your maps, your fuel mapping from uh, sport to race to track. So you've got Sport, which is like your easier mode. I've got it in race at the minute. Uh, I've not had much of a play around with it, but race just feels, I don't know, it just feels nice. So I've just left it there for the time being, just until I get used to the bike. But I love this bike. I'm just so over the moon. I did a collection video, and I, I think I came across a little bit on the collection video. It was a bit like, I don't know, unenthusiastic, but it really isn't that. I was just so overwhelmed that, you know, I've got myself in a position somehow uh, where I can afford to have a bike like this and I was just a bit sort of taken aback. You know, when I got back into bikes a year ago and bought the ZX6R, I was so overwhelmed by that bike then, but I got back into it so quickly 
that I just felt like I wanted a bit more um, and you know that's a bit of my personality and it might come back to bite me you know it's, it might be too fast for me it certainly is way too fast for my skill level but I'm hopefully going to take it sensible on the track and um, not do anything dumb uh, but I, I love it I mean it's just absolutely awesome there's a lean angle sensor not sure what the point of that is but it looks cool I don't really think you should be looking at that while you're at 50 degree lean angle <laughs> But uh, it's got a lean angle sensor, so why not? There's a lap timer. Not that you're allowed to take, to take your lap times on track days, boys and girls. That's what happens when you get the knobheads in the lower group trying to do 1 minute 30s around Cadwell thinking they're Mark Marquez and cutting up, uh, cutting up Grandpa Joe and knocking him off his Multistrada. You, you guys know who you are. You need to stop. It's not a race. Um, so yeah, look, just a quick video of my first ride. I'll... I'll um, I'm going to bring a lot of content to the channel with this bike, obviously. Like I said, I'm at Donington with it on... Uh, oh, power is amazing! I'm at Donington with it on the 9th, um, which is going to be <laughs> an experience, shall we say. First time on a track with something of this sort of power. Uh, yeah, and there's going to be a load of, uh, load of other content coming out. Uh, but what do you think? Did I make the right decision? Should I bought the BMW? But you've probably seen the video where, where I rode the BM again just to give it a second chance. It's just boring, I'm afraid to say. Compared to this, a lot of it's to the noise, I give you that, but compared to this, it's boring. Uh, it's just that simple. Yeah, I mean, amazing bike. I love it to bits. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier, so I'm going to go and enjoy my, um, my first ride out to Skeg Vegas in peace now. But I hope you like the video, I hope you like the bike. Um, and I'll try and bring you some cooler content with it in the coming weeks and months. So thanks for watching, uh, take it easy everybody and stay safe. I'm seeing shimmers in this zone.